man who tried to assassinate Reagan speak out after Donald Trump shooting. The man who tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan has disavowed violence in the wake of the attempt on Donald Trump's life. John Hinckley Jr., who wounded the former U.S. president during an attack in 1981, wrote on X, violence is not the way to go. Give peace a chance. The post came days after Mr. Trump was shot at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. Although Hinckley did not directly mention the Republican presidential nominee, people were quick to draw the connection, responding with bemusement at his statement. One ex-user summed up the sentiment of many commenters, writing, Dude you literally shot the 40th president of the United States. A spectator was killed and two others were seriously injured in Saturday's attack on ex-president Mr. Trump where one of the bullets grazed his ear. The gunman, who has been identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, was shot dead by the Secret Service at the scene. Hinckley was freed in 2022 after 41 years spent under psychiatric care and court supervision, having been acquitted by reason of insanity at a trial in 1982. Restrictions on his freedom had gradually been lifted in the lead-up to his release, including limits on social media use. By the time he was unconditionally released, he had more than 28,000 followers on X, then Twitter, which has since grown to more than 62,000. Hinckley became a household name after wounding Mr. Reagan and three others outside a Washington hotel. He was suffering from acute psychosis and wanted to impress actress Jodie Foster, who he was obsessed with at the time of the shooting. Mr. Reagan recovered after surgery for a punctured lung. However, his press secretary Jim Brady was left with permanent disabilities after the first of six bullets Hinckley fired hit his head, shattering the brain cavity. Mr. Reagan died in 2004 aged 93 after having Alzheimer's disease for a decade.